Hi guys, how is everybody today? Good morning. Good morning. I know it's a little early, but we can do better than that. How's everybody? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Vincent Lancey, and I'm an inspirational speaker who owns Strive to Lead. I'm going to start with my background to really symbolize why I started my company today. In fifth grade, ever since a young age, I knew the importance of giving back and helping others. I was nominated for an organization called Our Town 2000, who really gives back to the community in every way, shape, and form. Toy drives uh, during the holidays, you know, turkeys during Thanksgiving, even visiting the veterans uh, on Veterans Day, letting them know how thankful we are. I moved on to middle school, where I was in the Honor Society, and then graduated from Northport High School in 2009. I knew one thing as soon as I graduated was that I had to get out of the snow immediately. <laughs> so I visited University of Miami, University of South Florida, University of Tampa, just you know, making sure that I had several options to get out of that snow. And I ended up going with University of Tampa because of the decor and how uh, the small class sizes. I think that's a huge thing for me is the ability to ask questions in the classroom to really grasp the, grasp the material instead of being just a number at USF, you know, one of 300. So I want to just start by saying, how many of you have had some adversity headed your way, whether in the professional workplace or just personal? So keep your hands up and look around because everybody has gone through something. And I'm going to share some adversity that negatively impacted my life for the rest of my days. It was senior year, my last semester, and one of my buddies was turning 21. You know, a great time, senior year in college, everybody's excited, you're ready to get into the workplace, turning 21. And I was getting tired, so I decided to walk home. The safe and you know responsible thing to do, they say, is walk home, don't get in a drunk driver's car, don't get in a cab. Walk home is the safest option. So I was walking home, and there's a DUI checkpoint next to my apartment. I end up getting to my house and realize I forget my keys. So the officer sees me to go back to the gas station to kind of kill some time before my roommates show up. And on my walk back, I never made it back home. A drunk driver came into the bicycle lane on the sidewalk and hit me from behind and shot me up in the air as high as a basketball hoop, and I landed on my face. I still have cement today stuck in my face, but at one point, my face was completely purple. I suffered significant brain injuries, a broken tib and a broken fib, and I now have a metal rod running through my leg and two bolts at my knee and two at the ankle, along with short-term memory disabilities and cognitive disabilities. But I wasn't supposed to make it through the night, but you know, here I am today. I went back to school and I finished my Bachelor's of Science and Finance degree, as well as I more recently just finished my Master's of Business Administration degree. Uh, the school chose me to speak at the commencement this past May, which was one of the most humbling honors I've ever accepted for a private institution to do that. It made my mother very proud. And, um, you know, after seeing the audience's reaction and the community support, I thought, hey, you know, maybe this, this would be the career for me. But as many of you can attest to, starting a small business and being an entrepreneur is very difficult. You know, my last dollars have gone into this business and, you know, my heart, everything is involved in this business. And, you know, slow but steady, things are starting to pick up through mentorship and countless networking meetings and events just like this. You know, my confidence started to grow and things started to look up. So I was doing some reading the other day online about some things that Tony Robbins was uh, doing right now. And it really hit home for me as a small business owner. It was very impactful. Would you like me to share that with you? Sure. Yeah. 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 He talks about uh, three ways to create a breakthrough in your business uh, because small businesses, everybody needs a competitive advantage and how to do so. So he talks about changing three things. One would be changing your strategy. If you have not achieved a breakthrough yet, there is something that is not going right. And the key thing to do is maybe you know find someone in the community, find someone in the world that had a transformation, had a breakthrough, breakthrough, excuse me, and try to study them and see what they're doing. The second one is to change your story. A lot of people get caught in the rut of their own self-defined path, and in that path, they're really just creating more roadblocks for themselves than following the proven the proven way. And you know, nobody likes change. Leaders try to avoid change every single day and just try not to change. But sometimes it can be crucial for your business. And the third thing and the most important one to me is changing your state. If you feel good and you're positive about things, you're more likely to, you know, encounter or take action in a series of events that will cause a, ba a breakthrough. You know, your mental mind state powers everything. And, you know, with the right mindset, you can really achieve that breakthrough. So I know I've only had, you know, about 10 minutes to speak to you guys today, but as a new inspirational speaker, I'm constantly looking for ways to get in front of companies, get in front of crowds, because I can add value to anybody through my academic experience, my medical experience, and my entrepreneurial experience, and really, you know, show some extra value for your firm and improve efficiency. So thank you all for giving me the time to speak today. Wonderful.